fourth sport category is providing manufacturers with new exciting opportunities to create all sorts of flying machines, including ultralight helicopters. Canadian company Innovative Technologies debuted their Mosquito Range at EAA Air Venture 2006. John Uptergrove is the designer and pilot of the Tiny Mosquito. We have essentially three models right now. The first one was the Mosquito Air, and now this is the Mosquito XE. Um, the Mosquito Air is just an open frame that I initially developed. It's an open frame tubing uh, machine. This one here is um, all the same running gear as the original Mosquito, but this one it has a fiberglass body and structure. It takes all the same running gear as the Mosquito Air, and so you know we use the, com the components that we already put time on and just put a new body on it so that you could be sitting inside something. How do they compare uh, performance-wise? Uh, they're very similar. This is, of course, a little more streamlined. Uh, in the air, you're just sitting out in the open, so you have the drag of a person sitting in the air. This has a, a streamlined body, so you get a, about another 10 mile an hour uh, on the top end of the airspeed. It's an all-toy helicopter, but it has all the exact same functions as any commercial helicopter. Uh, all the controls are manual. There's no hydraulic assist, of course, because it's such a light helicopter. This engine that powers the Mosquito is the MZ202 from a company called Compact Radial Engines in Vancouver, Canada. The engine is actually an inline two-cylinder two-stroke. On the top, we have the top of the drivetrain. This is the driving pulley, and this is the uh, HDD belt, a very high-power cog belt. At the rear of the helicopter here, we have the uh, tail rotor. Here we have the right-angle gearbox that takes the shaft drive coming down the tail boom and turns it 90 degrees to drive the tail rotor. This is the turbine model of the XC that we're just introducing this year. The turbine we're using is the uh, Solar T62 2A1.